Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back working on my 34 Cabriolet project. So last time we got the back half roughly bolted in place just to get a game plan. Um, today I'm going to work on taking some of the pieces off. We have to repair this back strip to this panel. Uh, unfortunately, it's rotten off. So Matt bent up a piece earlier this week. We're going to work on welding that back in, then we can get that final bolted down. And while we have everything off, I'm going to sand the edges of the floor and some areas in the back that that panel covers and prime all of it so once we bolt it back down we don't have to on and off a few times to paint everything. So let's get this all unbolted and get to work. So in the last couple of shots you saw we replaced about two thirds of the back portion here. It was pretty rough on this side, uh, very, very pitted and thin. And uh, the brace that was under here, that's for the spare tire mount. Uh, there's a bunch of rot right in this area. Oh, it's right here. I was trapped all underneath that if we didn't uh, do anything with it now, it'd be way worse in the future. So that's done. Uh, we still got to work on that rear panel back there. But right now I'm gonna take some rust encapsulator and dust all this back section so when that panel's on, it won't be covered and do the edges of the floor so when we put get to the quarter panels eventually, that'll all be taken care of and covered so we don't have to take things on and off to paint. Yeah, it doesn't matter, Steve. If you 
If you don't feel like running out, you don't have to. Do you want me to go to 90 or go as far past as I can? I go as far past, but it'll only go just over 90. Okay. As long as we can fit it in the shrinker correctly, that's all that matters. Matt got this all welded up last night and Cleco to the body so we got it fitting nicely. I am going to clean up the inside of here and paint it, paint this back edge so when it sits against and we spot weld it we don't have to take it back off and clean anything to paint and primer it. So I'm going to clean this up, paint it and I'm going to work on here these B pillars. I need to peel all of this existing sheet metal off so we can work on grafting it to the B pillars that we already have.
Yeah, I just got two tools in there. Mm -hmm. You can either take them out or do a Yeah, I mean, it lined right up to the detailer there right away. Um, the height's correct. I guess the way to tell would be as if the hinge lines up with the, the third hinge lines up, correct? Yeah, that's probably a good way to do it if you line the put the hinge in and then hold your door up. I have a, there's a half inch wrench. Sorry. Probably should put bolts in that rear panel. I just have two cleats holding it in. Yeah. They won't pull up to rip them around. Four cleats. shots you saw we got the quarter panels mounted up this is bolted down we got all the bolts in this panel here everything is fitting pretty nicely along the back side um, I cut the uh, sacrificial quote-unquote view pillars that we got and measured and cut the quarter panels to match on the driver's side here we had to add a little foot because whoever had these Pipos originally cut this off. So we added this foot. I will eventually have to add a foot in here on both sides at some point to bolt it to the top of the floor. But that's getting the welder set up. We're gonna get everything tacked and kind of pull everything in so it lines up a little bit better, right? That's the plan. Um, why? Just one click. One more. You're actually touching back in here. That uh, cut's probably not perfect. But it's not a lot better than it was.
let me do this that support bar we can kind of set some of that there. Yeah. You can flex on it with straps and then weld it to the end of Steve, I got a door. Sweet. I got a door. Every week you get another body panel on that thing. That's pretty neat. That was a lot of work. So we got the rear quarters basically bolted down, quote unquote, permanently. Um, there's some, the wheel wells have bolts that run along the floor and we have to make some feet here for the B pillars, but for the most part, they're bolted in. There is some, some movement to the quarter panels. Um, there's some bracing that is missing since this car was in pieces. Um, we, Matt and I talked about adding a hoop along the back like he did in the 33-3 window to help stiffen everything and tie it to the floor and adding uh, the rest of the floor bolts and adding the wheel wells in and tying all that to the floor will help really strengthen this thing up. But just getting this thing all bolted together is uh, really, really neat. And it was a lot of fun trying to piece all this back together to make it a bolt on quarter panel. Uh, the doors are hung. Uh, there's some work we have to do. Uh, the lower hinge on both sides are missing. So I got to work on some of that, get some hardware to get everything uh, bolted together. I did get new hinge pins, but we're going to wait to drive those into a ready. So in the next episode, I'm going to work on getting uh, the cowl situated. I got to cut off some metal that are still on these brackets and then the cowl itself that I'll be using. Um, there's brackets in there that I need to remove to put onto these. So there's a bunch of work I need to do in the meantime to get the cowl on the car and then just make sure everything fits together. So thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. It's this is a blast. I'm having a lot of fun. Catch you later.